Hey, we're outside in the woods in late November, and that means that I'm talking about Tilly hats. A little while ago, I uploaded a video on Tilly hats, and they were mostly summer hats. But as the weather gets colder, I kind of wanted something for those winter months. So after looking around last year, I found this Tilly hat, which is the TWF1 Montana Fedora. This hat's been out for about five, six years now. I wasn't aware of it because it was kind of buried in their website. But you can see here, this is a standard fedora style hat. And it's 100% wool felt. And from afar, it does not look at all like a Tilly hat. But when you get up close, you start to see some of the Tilly elements right here. All right, so let's start 100% wool felt, three inch brim two and three quarters on the size a fairly big hat 167 grams and like i said from afar it looks like a fedora but when you get up close such as the brim you start to see tilly stitching that's on the brim it comes in three colors black brown and some sort of a slate gray uh, this was not the original headband the headband that came with it looked very nice but it was made of that cheap leather so it kind of broke off when i was trying to remove the product tab but got a tandy leather shop uh, 20 minutes from the house so got me some leather and some hardware and made myself uh, a new headband so on the inside uh, you got your traditional sweat band that's very similar on the other tilly hats because it's for cooler weather you got these flaps for the ear warmers and of course you got your tilly secret pocket here at the top of the crown but uh, it's just sewn on to this little liner here so this is a love-hate relationship with this hat and i'm gonna start talking about what i do like about it all right so first of all it does exactly what it's supposed to do keep your head warm in the cooler months of the year which is from fall to spring and being wool it, it works it works very well and i'm very quite happy with it if it gets colder below zero celsius minus 15 celsius like i was at one point you can pop down the ear warmers and you can just slap it on and you can keep on your walk or your hike. Does some pretty good protection. Of course, you have a buff or a baklava, or whatever, scarf. You got some pretty good protection here in those really cold months and you're off the races. With the ear roamers, I find your hat is more secure in your head. Of course, it's a little lower, but it does an actually really good job keeping the head on your head on those windy days. Now, because this hat doesn't have an underwire at the end of the brim like some of the other hats, uh, it is more, you know, suspect or easier to flip up when you're facing the wind than some of the other Tilly hats. So that's because the wool is extremely soft. There's no stiffening agents inside to make it a little stiff. So, you know, whatever, it, it's a soft, soft hat. Now, the funny thing is they don't really mention that this hat is crushable or rollable, that you can kind of, there's certain certain other hats, wool hats that you can roll or pack uh, or, you know, will pop back into shape. But they, they, it pops out of shape fairly easy. And I fear that you got to really take care of it so that it doesn't, you don't crush it or, or get it out of, out of sorts. So that's the stuff on the outside. The stuff on the inside that I like less is well the ear warmer so on one end they work really well on really cold days but i feel they don't really work very well on fall days like this nicer days where it's not zero degrees so first problem that i have with the hat with this you can see the liner right and depending on what, whatever you're doing you're adjusting it or whatever the ear warmer they they, they kind of roll down right and i think that breaks the look of it the other thing too this is just you know like a cotton fabric to me it retains a lot of moisture even though like before i shot this video i was doing about four or five minutes of hiking here in the woods here cool day wasn't building up a lot of sweat but after i was done this is completely wet right and if i have the hat off for a while have lunch put it back on it's like putting on a wet sock and I think this is an area that Tilly can, you know, improve on. Maybe a more uh, tech material and maybe a neoprene, maybe like a soft shell, something like that. And also dealing, maybe get 
the fabrication so that it will, will snap in better instead of just rolling, right? You can see here it's just very soft. So, you know, that's one aspect I don't really like about it. The other aspect that I don't like about it is the liner, right? We're trained as Tilly Hat users to align the hat based on the tag and you put it on, but I can tell you how many times I put on the hat, I wasn't even aware and it was like completely crooked. That's because the liner gets, you know, doesn't stay straight. <laughs> so you really gotta, I've been using the ear warmers to align, get these straight before I put the hat on instead of looking at the tag. Now on the website, they say that this hat repels rain and snow. Now I've got to say that that's not quite true. 100% wool, just like this jacket. Uh, what happens when it rains, it doesn't repel the rain. It kind of absorbs the rain, right? Eventually, once it gets saturated, it's gonna repel, but this does not repel water at all like let's say the t3 cotton uh, tilly hat uh so after a while so if you're out going out for an hour an hour and a half and it's raining at the start by the time you're done you're gonna have a wet soggy hat and as this gets wet because there's no underwire the brim starts to to waffle a bit here so when you want to dry it dry it lay flat on the table to to stay keep your brim kind of straight now, if you're in snow, this probably won't be a problem. So as long as the snow is not wet slush or melting snow, I think you're fine for fluffy stuff, maybe even the ice pellets. I think that will work just fine, just like this jacket would be in those types of snow conditions. But for rain, this is going to get wet and it's going to take a while to dry. So based on what you're doing in those colder months of the year, this hat may do the job. But like I said, if you're doing any activities where you're going to get stuck in rain or it's one of those days where you might be building up a sweat uh the fact that this does not repel rain quite as well and the fact that these ear warmers do collect a lot of moisture and like i said it's like wearing a wet sock may not be for you but on those really cold days in the wind it does work fairly good so it's like i said it's a love hate thing and you know it's not a cheap hat this is probably the most expensive hat i've uh, bought so far in my collection so but i mean i'm out here on the outdoors i'm hiking i'm glad that i have it though so let me know in the comments what you think and we'll talk to you next time